bring community policing, community policing to all six wards of Atlantic City. I want to uh, create new jobs outside of the city, so the city, city hall is an uh, employment agency for the city. And I want to um, have a comprehensive program for ex felons so that when they come home, they don't got to go back, you know, slinging drugs. They can come here, go through a job training program and get a good job like everybody else. And in turn, that makes our streets safer. And I'm all about the kids. I mean, nobody's going to question my motive for kids. And I always have been, so. That's all about tomorrow. Marty's my from there. Yeah. They can't come to the city. Some people don't always want to hear the, the rhetoric, so to speak. I mean. When, when when you challenge, that brings out the best in everybody. I mean, I think it's boring myself. You go to a door, everybody telling you what you want to hear. Oh yeah, you got our support. You know, we with you, we love you, blah, 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 blah. I'd rather have somebody that's gonna go against me because that way you can present your issues, your platform, and the things that you want to do for the city. You know, I, I grew up in Atlantic City, uh, student of New Jersey Avenue School. I went to New Jersey, graduated from Central Junior High School. And then I went on to Atlantic City High School, graduated from there. Had a little skills in basketball, afforded me an opportunity to advance my education. That's when I went to the Richard Stockton College in New Jersey. Number nine all-time leading score on the court, number one all-time leading rebounder, but more importantly, I graduated. Come on, man, that's what it's all about, baby. Power ticket. Power We have AC history to making the first black female Muslim city councilwoman. Then we have national history with Dr. Feet, the youngest elected city official national. Oak Marty. Smalls. Big change. Future's now. <laughs>